let's see if we can log in here. And then I will be able to talk to you guys when we get going here. Takes me just a second. Here we go. We got it up and running. Good morning from Seattle. Cold and rainy day here today. Let's raise this up a little bit. I'm sorry. I do so many different kinds of videos that every time I come in here, it's different. So my apologies, my apologies. Let's see if we can, if we can fix this up a little bit. Boy, oh boy. You know, the inking is a mess, isn't it? <laughs> kind of a mess, isn't it? I'll have to change my paper, I guess. I put brown paper on my desk so I can just do what I want and not worry about it, you know? I kind of like it. But it's just ink on here. But it doesn't look the prettiest. <laughs> okay, so get out your sheet music. If you don't have any, I have some in my shop. If you can't find it listed, then message me and say, Hey, you said you had sheet music. Where is it? And I will fix it right up. Because I'm a ditz or lazy or, you know, something. Or I think I have it and I don't. <laughs> I know I have this one for sure. Listed, but I have more. Uh, regular kinds if you want. But I do have this one listed. You'll recognize the picture. Wedding songs. Now I have this for just such occasions when you want something that's a little romantic. And since it's Valentine's Day, this is what's on the agenda. I got a hot iron. I got a hot dryer. I got my stamps. I got my ink. I got my embossing. I got the powder. And I got my little new punchy I got. And I got a whole stack of sheet music here and I got a whole box of Valentine junk that I don't even know what's in there I don't even know what I'm actually gonna make <laughs> but I spent an hour getting ready for the video <laughs> so so I better make something and sheet music envelopes are the first envelopes that I kind of ever made. And they're like, my true love. I don't even know if I remember how to do them now. <laughs> we'll see. But usually I have, usually you can make, what I should say, uh, an envelope to fit whatever size ephemera you got so let's just let's just see what I got here I got some paper I got so much junk you know girlies this is nice but I was going to use it for a cover not for but I could use it for an example I guess or I can just cut some of this up all right, let's just use this for picks, I guess. And let's just hope I remember how to do this. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have to go watch my own video. But normally, <laughs> normally what I do is I literally just take whatever I have that I want to put in the envelope and just wrap the paper around it. Hi, Julie. Julia. So I'm not sure if this is going to be too big or if, you know, <laughs> or if it's going to work. Um, I'm looking right now. Where is my ephemera thing? One second. I changed everything around. And so now I'm like, where's my box of ephemera? One sec. What did I do with it? Is this it? Let me see. see. Nope. Well, shoot. Maybe 
he misses it one second, you know, because I shoot, you know, when you clean. And now I forget. Oh, and then I hit the camera. Oh, that's lovely. Sorry. Oh, and then I did it again. Dang, I'm professional. Sorry. <laughs> Dang, I'm professional. All right. This might be better because it's smaller. Hi, Julia. All right, so I had a big idea of showing you guys how to do sheet music envelopes, but now I forget, so I'm just going to wing it. But usually you can take any size anything and just fold your sheet music around it, or you can do it without something. It doesn't matter whatever size you want to do. But let's just try this and see if I remember how. I do know that we are going to fold the corner down, and you don't want to go like this way up there. I mean, you can, but you want to leave some space right here because... For the folding and just such, you know. You moved all your stuff. Oh, I know. See, I hate that I can't find anything either. It's kind of funny. <laughs> you know. All right. And then sometimes you can cut this off. Or I like to just keep folding and make like weird envelopes, you know. But I don't know. It just depends on how you want to do it. I'm not the perfect crafter, you know. I mean, you can use an envelope punch board. And you can get all, you know technical advanced and everything <laughs> you know what I mean but I just I don't know I just don't do all that so I just don't see how I'm doing it and you just fold it around it and you don't want to make it too snug because then you can't get it in and out if you're going to sew it takes more room and then sometimes what I think is really fun is I end up with a double ended because this is a small one but you can cut it off or you can sew. Because watch now. Now I'm going to fold this down. Okay. See? So, and it's in there. And it's right here. Right? So, you can cut this off. And then just put a dab of glue. And you got your cute little envelope. Or, like I said, sometimes... Like, I'll fold this over. Okay. And sometimes I'll make, because this will be cute, like a double-ended if you want. Because you can slide this in both sides, see? You just have to make this, you know, a new top. So I'll show you what I do. You don't have to, but. But I think it's fun to mess around with these kind of sometimes. So I know my little thing is right there on the inside, right? And we just want to make it square like the other one, I guess. Just depends what you want to do. I'm just seeing how this goes. Because I'm always can just cut this off and put a bead of glue and I'm done. But I just want to see if I could get two. And I think I can. It's not going to be like the conventional thing. But I like it because look, now you got this pockety thing right here. And an envelope on one side. See? And if I want to... See, I would have another tuck spot there. If I want to make it the same size, I could have. See, because it's bigger. Either this or a cool idea is you can cut this. And then you'll have your little envelope here. And then you'll have a tuck spot, you know, to go with. Because you'll be able to tuck right here. And then this you can undo and leave a little pocket. However you want to do it, you know. I like to fold paper, so I don't know. I'm trying to think if I want to fold this down or if I want to leave it. I kind of like it big like that, too, myself. Hmm. Or I could just make my envelope bigger, which I could do that so it's the same size. Let's do it just for kicks. Just for kicks, we'll make it the same size. Is my hand black and blue? No. Does it look weird? I don't know. I know this lighting is weird. I got, it's probably ink or, I don't know. Right here? I don't know. 
No. Weird light, maybe. This one's got like a pink shade on it. I don't know. All right, so now I have an envelope side, see? And then I have a tuck spot side, and I can put stuff in there too, see? So you have this whole kind of cool thing. Yeah, cute. I like those kind. Okay, or, and I'm going to fix this one up. I'm going to fix it up and do ink, and I got my wax out here. I think I'm going to wax some of these. So I'm going to do a couple. Okay, so this one, let's do bigger now because I realize. Ring, do life is art. <laughs> Hi, miss. I hope it's a miss. Maybe it's a mister. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so let's just try to do it around this one and see if that same little technique -y works because it's a different shape and everything. Let's just see how it goes just for kicks, you know. And like I said, I'm using um, sheet music from my shop. And if you're admiring my pretty nails, Color Street Nail Strip Club, the link's in the description box. I do nail art videos and <laughs> we have a fun time. Hi, Safina. Hello, miss. Thanks for stopping in. We're doing a bunch of different kinds of envelopes. Like I said, this one's going to be probably more traditional looking. Ooh, this looks nice. And then you just fold it down. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I like to embellish with a... See, this one you could even do it too if you want double-sided. Maybe I'll change the video name to double-sided envelopes. Would that be better? But this one's going to be pretty shallow, see? So I don't know. If that one will be good or not. But let's try it. Let's just see what it's going to look like. Because yeah. we can just cut it off if we want. Right here. So we just have a nice regular envelope. Put your bead of glue down or sew. If you want to sew. Because otherwise this one. I don't know. This might be neat though. Because we could fold this over. And put the closure over here. Are you guys buffering? Mine is. But my video looks okay. So, anyway, these are all Tsunami Rose. Uh, TsunamiRose.net. Miss Daisy Collins. You can buy her mystery boxes and they're already cut out for you like these ones are. Otherwise, you take your scissors and you cut them out or you use your scan and cut. Whatever you're going to do. And these look mighty fine right here as a closure and I like to put wax. We're gonna do some waxing and some inking and we'll do some stamping and we'll get it all figured out here, right? Just giving you a peek what we're gonna do after all the folding in case you wanna leave already because it's so boring. <laughs> folding paper isn't the funnest to watch, but it's interesting because you can figure out how you're going to do it, see? And this is neat because I could put the bead of glue there and then put something here this way. So you have the double-sided and then just leave that part for a closure to wrap around. That's kind of neat, right? And we'll get a Valentine-ish stamp and we'll do our inking and all this stuff. Aren't those cute? Yeah, sometimes I shrink them, and that's just how they come, too, too. And then I have, um, well, you have to just go look. TsunamiRose.net. She's got all the die cuts. I have a lot of stuff in my shop, too, for digitals. And Daisy and I are doing a collab on some stuff. Uh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you guys. She's working on it right now, but. I sent her my entire collection of all my stuff. You guys remember, if you haven't seen it, go back and look. I sent her my entire 1800s collection of all of my scrapbooks. And so she took them all, scanned them all, and she's making scans for us. So we can just scan the whole page and just use the whole page for our junk journal pages. And then she's making die cuts and stuff. So it's going to be really fun. Okay, anyways. If you don't have something to put inside, 
Oh. I like this kind too myself. But I like to put something in the middle. Um, I usually like to do crunchy stuff in the middle. Like parchment paper that you used up that was, you know, just coffee stained or something like that. And I like to do just plain like this. And I'll show you. And you just pull it down like this. And I like to sew. I love these kind because they're nice and big. And you can get a bunch of stuff in. Oh, this is what I was going to do. But I got to think about this for a minute. Because I have this. I'm going to shut this off for a second. My iron is on and doesn't really need to be yet. I'm not ready to wax. I'm ready for another round. <laughs> if you can hear what I got going on, oh God. If you can hear. I did a huge batch of paper, and so now I have all of my parchment ready for envelopes, which I'm excited. I always do a certain kind of parchment paper envelopes, but... I just wanted to show you real quick because you can use pattern paper, you know, anything in between to make it fat or crunchy or, you know, whatever. So I just make sandwiches with my parchment paper like this. And then I put we could do, if we're doing Valentine's, we could do, um, because one's going to be the outside and one's going to be the inside, right? And you're on her design team? Me too. <laughs> I'm having fun with it too. I love Daisy. Anyways, I like to do both sides. So... You can consider what do you want the outside of the envelope to look like and what do you want the inside of the envelope to look like. Personally, I like the sheet music on the outside and it's this is romantic uh, wedding songs for my shop. And then if we want the inside to be like Valentine-y, you know what I mean? You can do uh, something on the other side, some kind of paper or like, you know, let me see, what do I got? I have this Valentine paper, but I hate to use that, and it's vintage too, for the inside. So maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just do sheet music again because I'm scared to ruin my pretty, my pretties. Oh, Mary, don't you weep? And the inside of having sheet music on the inside is really pretty, too. I like that, the way it looks. When you open your envelope and have sheet music on the inside, it's pretty. So I go like this and like this. And then I sew it together all the way around. And I leave stuff hanging out the side. That's the fun part. See, I leave all that and I kind of rip it, you know, so that it gives me a nice ripped edge. I'll get rid of that so it don't keep making that dang noise. All right. Yeah, I'm excited too. I'm excited. I can't wait. I have some scans that I've done, you know, by myself. But I don't know how to do all that stuff. She's the professional. So I begged her for like... Well, I've been talking to her about it for like a long time. <laughs> but it's a lot of work, you know. And Plus, when you first meet somebody, I think it was when I first met her or something. She was like, yeah, okay, whatever, you know. <laughs> Because she didn't know me, you know, at first. She must get approached all the time, I'm sure. But anyways, 
after I worked with her for a couple years and she's like, okay, you know. <laughs> so now, <laughs> so now it's like, yay. Okay, so sew this all the way around and then you got a crunchy, right? And an inside and an outside. And it's boring to watch somebody sew, isn't it? So, you know, I mean, I'm going to want to do this one, but I'm just going to set it over here for a minute because you guys have seen me do these a million times. You know how to do it. And if you haven't, then just go back in my channel. I think they're called oversized envelopes or parchment envelopes, and you can see how to do those because I love those. They're my favorite. All right, and then the other kind, Shepherd of Love. Ooh. <laughs> Then this one, I was going to just, couldn't find them. Oh, good. I'm telling you what, I've been working. Yeah, the crunchy is my favorite, too. <laughs> I've been working all over the house, so I can't even find my regular Tim Holtz scissors. I don't even know where they are right now. All right, so then the other one is just doing it, like, on your own. With, and I usually start with the fold down like this, but it just depends how big of a flap you want. And I always consider how I'm going to make my closure, you know. So, if you don't want a big fussy closure, then I make my flat bigger. Because it's just heavier or whatever. So, you know, it just depends how you want to do it. But, but anyways, so let's just try it and see if I can remember even how to do it. You just make a square. If we can do it right. We'll try it. I think I like to do it better with a piece of something inside so you get it square. Otherwise, you don't really know if you're getting it square or not. At least I don't. I don't have any tricks for that. Let me tell you what. I'm only following my, my other line here. Let's see how that would look. That looks okay to me. So we'll just do it like this. And then it folds down like this. And then you can put your die cut or your ticket or, you know, whatever you're going to do right there. And then this one can be fairly big because I'm going to cut this off. And have just a regular envelope. Regular looking one. Just like that, see? And I can cut right here now. And then glue or sew or whatever I want to do. Or I can, ooh, this might be neat. If I fold it on the back, then I would have a tuck spot on the front. That'd be neat. And I could glue it. And I got a square envelope with the tuck spot on the front. It's kind of a funny shaped square. <laughs> I'm trying to make it as best square as I can. <laughs> but it's still kind of funny. But I think it might be okay. <laughs> Let's see. If I keep going up on this side, it's this side that looks funky. But it's straight right here with the paper, so. I don't know. But you know, just mess with it. There. That's pretty cute. And then I have this tucky thing on the back that I can glue right here and tuck, tuck. Right? That's kind of fun. Let's see if I have some glue ready. I got this whole bag of extra glossine bags. I have every size in my shop. You need some because I want to make little, I was going to put little bags like for the closure, you know, or maybe on the other side for a decoration or something like this, but we'll see. 
But if you need them, I have them in my shop. These are the minis. They're cute. Put little things in, you know. I love them. And then I distress these too so you can get distressed bags in the shop too if you wanted to. So these ones just have coffee on them. And then some of them I've decorated all up with all the schmutz. <laughs> with all the stuff. I might have some sets left in the shop for sale. I'm not sure, but Okay, so if I just want to glue this, let's see. There we go. Let's just do it. I'm just going to put my little bead of glue right here. And actually, it, of course, you know, we have so many ways we can do tuck spots. It's so fun. That's why I love paper so much because it's fun. But this is taking forever. I didn't have my glue ready. I am telling you what, it's cold back here. Maybe my other one will be faster. This one's mini. I like the mini ones better. I got a big one right here, but dang. It gets so heavy. We'll see which one comes out faster. This little one's taking forever. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Yay, the fat one's done. Alright, so let's do it. Right here. Glue that baby down. So now I got a nice tuck spot on the front. That is cool. And I'm even going to glue this little foldy thing. Nice. And I'll put a little bit right here, I guess. It's folded pretty good. I don't really have to, but I will. And you could probably ink before you do all the gluing, you know, too. Probably. should we do? I've got sponge sugar, picked raspberry, that's an oxide though, and Victorian velvet. Oh, that's my favorite. But, let's see here. I've got the refills in my shop. I don't have any pads, but I got the refills. I feel like we all have the pads already. Maybe not. I don't know, but if you'd like me to get the pads... Leave me a note. So we'll just see here. All right, let's just take a look at this first. Oh yeah, sponge sugar. Let's just see if this is it or what. Let's just look. What's this one? Fun sugar. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Well, what I like to do is I'm making a bunch of envelopes, so I kind of want them all to look a little different. So that's why I got all the inks. I'm trying to make a little bit of variation. What do I got here? What do I got here? What do I got here? Let's try this. So I'll just ink 
make this one with sponge sugar. Oh, that's pretty. And I'll ink the next one with the velvet. And, oh, that's cute. I like it. Pretty, pretty. And we'll do the same thing on the back. I'll at least make one full one. I'll try right now. <laughs> try to get one whole one done. What I usually do is just get you guys going, get you the idea. and Then I leave and work on them myself. Then I go in group and post pictures in group and show you guys what I did and all that stuff. So that's fun. So if you're not in group, make sure you come over. I did not link the group today. I only linked my Etsy shop and my my nail my nail shop my nail group. I'm having fun in that group. <laughs> it's my play spot. I like to do nail stuff and we did pandemic pamper night the other night we did nails and mud masks we had such a fun time and then we did friday nights we're doing chippendales because <laughs> i called it the color street nail nail uh strip club color street strip club so I'm kind of going off the strip club theme, so I get to be all raunchy if I want, which is fun, <laughs> especially if you're using it for playtime. So I have drag queens and strippers for the theme. <laughs> and on Friday nights, if you share my group on your page, I put up pictures of Chippendales. <laughs> So it's kind of fun. Oh, I love this. I'm going to put my little stamp up here and put some cute little ephemeras in there and make a cute little insert. And I'm going to wax it. Ooh, it'll be fun. Okay, let's shut this up for a second here. And let's see if we could put some... Which, what should we do here? I like... um. Stamps. Let me think here if I want to do make my own or just use my, I have stamps in my shop if you need them. They come in 50 packs like this. And you just pull out some, you know, I should, I don't know if I want to make a Valentine. I don't know. That means a whole separate video for Valentine stamps. God, no. I just did video making these stamps. That one's kind of fun. I like it when they come on the paper and you stick it down and it just is cool. I like it. Otherwise, I have these in my shop too. These are fun because they're shaped like stamps already. And then you could, I don't know. You know what I mean though? These are fun. But... They're not Valentiney, and that one's too big. The big ones are fun though, but but I have these in my shop if you need them. I do just the small ones too, but I sold out and I haven't redone them. So if you nag me, I might be like, okay, <laughs> and then. I like the rub-ons, too. These are fun. All right, so what should I do for a stamp? Should we just use one of these so we just get on with it? Let's just get on with it. This is fun. It's a pink rose. Let's do that. Let's make one. Pinking shears. Cut the edge. There. Ooh, it'll be long. Well, I can cut it right here. So we get the flower. Ooh, cute. God, now I'm going to have to do stamps on every one. <laughs> or you can use these. 
But this one I want the dark stuff on the edges. I think this is ground espresso. I like the dark ones. These brushes are in my shop if you need them. I know I say that all the time, I'm sorry, but you know, it gets that way after you've been in the biz for a while. Okay, let's see. Been in the biz. Which, which really didn't start out that way. But I freaked out completely because I love this so much and I <laughs> and I can't not make this stuff. So now it's a obsession turned business. <laughs> because slash because I have to. <laughs> ah, all right. Yeah, the one stroke painting. Oh, it's fun. I know I have like all that stuff. Books and all that. I love to paint. Girl, I paint already. I'm doing a Buddha right now. Yeah, it's kind of fun. I don't have the face finished. I keep messing it up. And so it's sitting there. Jeez. Nice. Oh, you like the brushes? Yeah, me too. I love these. I think I have Four or five sets left in my shop if you need them. Okay, nice. Now, we can put the stamp on in a minute. Nah, don't rush me with the stamp. Because <laughs> we haven't even put any glitter and glitz on it yet. Come on with it. Yeah, the faces, I just started learning how to do the faces. I was, I've been hanging out with Miss Vanessa Kiki. Johanny, and she gave me a, I don't know, a 20 minute lesson one day and I've been practicing ever since. And I'm kind of liking little faces, it's kind of fun. <clears throat> and so then when I started doing my Buddha, I was glad that I had practiced. But the Buddha's for my daughter. Okay, this is not the conventional way to use this stuff. Sometimes I have this in my shop and sometimes I don't. I just get behind on the ordering, you guys. Ordering's a full-time job. I can't stand it. Uh, it's a uh, gilding polish. And this is um, lilac rose opal polish. It's got the little sponge. You get it wet. You dab, dab, and you do this. But for one envelope, I'm not going to go through all that. I'm just going to take the yuck on the top. And this is really cool because it's like putting glitter on. If you like glitter, but you don't like the glitter. You know what I'm saying? Plus, glitter looks cheap. And this stuff is like nice. Look at the shine. You can see what I'm doing. And this is like high-end stuff. It's kind of expensive, actually. I'm not going to lie. So when I put it on my stuff, it kind of makes like the prices go up, you know. But I'm just doing this for kicks and whatever, but I'm just talking for those of you because everybody always asks me, how do you price your stuff? So I'm just kind of putting it all in. Oh, and then I wanted to tell you guys, yeah, subtle shimmer, really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. And then I wanted to tell you guys too, um, I'm going to do a QA. and a I have Q&A here pretty soon about how to do the Etsy shop, your channel, group, how to run and do all that stuff. I get so much questions. Oh, that's so good. So many questions. And I make this post in group and I'm going to put it, I'm going to make a little like pamphlet -y thing. Ooh, for the Etsy shop. So we can refer back and then I'm going to do a video segment and we'll do live so you guys can ask me questions and stuff. Oh, that's so nice. I love this. Ooh, that stuff is just sick. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Okay, then... I guess then we could do the stamp. 
Isn't that nice? But even still, you could put cheesecloth underneath here and layer more stuff and more, but I don't know because I, it's a tuck spot. So I don't know if all that's going to be covered up or what yet, but I'm just throwing out the ideas at you, okay? Otherwise, you can use your old stamps, whatever. That looks good too. You know, I mean, that one's kind of big, but you get what I mean. Anything you got, put it on. Be good. And then I'll make some cute little things for that. And then the closure. Hmm. I always like. And then the wax. We got to do the wax. So I was just going to use a romantic little flower. And I happen to have. I wonder if it'll work. Because it's a vintage piano paper roll. These are in my shop. So, and it's getting towards the end, this one. So I like to just use these scraps for like just background and stuff. So I just wonder if I could get it to lay down with some wax on it. Or if I can't, we'll try it on one. If I can't, then I'll use it for gluing down and I'll use it for the tags and such that go in here. But let's just see. Let's just see how this is going to work. I have so much die cuts from Daisy that I could just practically... Ooh, look at that one. That's humongous. I love it. <laughs> uh, let me tell you. Glossy accents on these with a little bit of glitter. Let them dry overnight. Gorgeous. Just saying. But um, that's why I'm doing wax. Uh, let's see. I have so many more of these, but like I said, I cleaned. <laughs> and now, I don't know where any of them are. Let me see here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm really sorry. Where are the rest of my die cuts? Come on with it. Let's just see here. There's a ticket. Here's some more. Here's some more, but I know I have more of these, and I'm wondering where the heck they went, because they're my favorite ones. Shoot. I'm looking for just the perfect one, this one. I need it to be the perfect size. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Okay. And I was thinking I would put some vintage piano paper down behind it and put it on there like this. Oh, for cute. And then I want some. What do we want with this? A blushy pink cheesecloth, huh? Let's see if I can find some. Or something. I got pink. Like salmon pink. Should we go pink, pink? What color you think we should do? Or white? I have some that's coffee stained. That might look better too. Do the coffee stain? I don't know. I guess it don't matter. Or white. I have white too. We'll see. Okay, now. Let me turn my iron back on. I'm just using a regular iron. You can go get a craft iron, whatever you want to do. But I just started using this one and I just haven't quit, so... That's just it. So let's just see. These I get at Hobby Lobby when they are 50% off. So they're only $2.50 for a whole roll of any color you want. Or you can get the white dye your own. This needs some ink badly. And I love this because you just brush it on. Gets all the inside edges really good. Yep, cheesecloth. Yep. And you can get, like I said, any color at Hobby Lobby when they... I wait until they have the 50% off. That's just how I shop. So I wait. And when they have 50% off, I go get every color. And I'm not kidding. That's what I did. And I haven't had to buy cheesecloth for like two years. And in fact, Gigi went and did it for me because I was stuck in. So this looks really good. You put ink on it. Look, looks good. 
And then I'm just not sure how I want to do this yet. Because just because you're using wax, it doesn't mean you don't have to use the glue. You still have to use some glue just to hold it down while the wax dries. So let me see how this is going to work. Let's do a little bit of the glue and then the cheesecloth. I'm not sure how I want to do this yet because I don't know how this piano roll is going to look. And there's no sense in, let's see, let's do piano roll first. I don't know how it's going to work. We'll see. And then I'll put, we'll see if the glue and the cheesecloth kind of hold it down some. Now, I'm not doing a lot of glue because you don't need it because you're going to wax. And I just want this cheesecloth to be, you know, a little bit around because it really helps to soak up the wax and it looks really good. And we love it. Right? So let's just... And you want it to hang down because you want it to hang down in the envelope, you know. So you kind of got to figure out how you want it to go. So I'm just going to go like that. So when I shut it, it's going to look like this, right? But now I'm going to put the wax on it and it's going to even look better. Sorry, I don't know where my camera is right now. Okay, so let's put the wax on. And the wax, I also got at Hobby Lobby when you get the 40% off, but I hear they're not doing that anymore. It's pretty tough even for big business. So us little businesses super appreciate your purchases because <laughs> if the big ones can't make it, you know, how the heck are we supposed to? So super appreciate you guys shopping with me. Okay, so I just put the pellets on. If you've seen me, I sprinkled them on. And you just let it melt and drag it. Drag it over. And you don't want it to get stuck to what you're doing. Because it will. <laughs> so make sure you pull it up. It's kind of fussy to work with a little bit. But I need some more right here. I can see. I want a little more. It's a little temperamental, but I love it because it brings the color right out. It holds the cheesecloth down. It gives another distressing effect, which is what I like. Nice. And then again, if you want to wax part of this stuff you just have to make sure you don't wax your pockets shut okay so i'll put some here on the corner but i'm gonna put a tag in there so that and see I don't know if you can see. I'll show you. I'll hold it up. There. So you can see. See how it gives it a whole new. A whole nother like. Distressing thing that makes it look older. You know what I mean? And that's what I like. I get tired of the same distressing technique. So. Putting the wax on is kind of fun. See? And I'm going to um, do some more down here just for kicks. But again, I'm going to put the tag in. So I'm going to do it just on this corner. Just so we get a little bit of it in the back. Ooh, yes. I love the wax. It's so fun. 
There. Oh, these are cute. I want to make sure it's not going to stick, though. <laughs> I love this. And then we're going to put some stuff in the little pockets. And we'll figure out our little stamp. This will be cute. I love it. And then uh, let's put this one here. Because that one I got to sew. And then we'll do this one that I did. So this one, the envelope is right here. We folded it around the thing. And then I didn't cut it off. I'm just going to fold it and fold it for fun. Hi, Vanessa. I was just talking about you. <laughs> Forget what I was saying, though. Oh, we were talking about painting those faces and... I was telling him how I how I got a little lesson from Miss Vanessa. So we're just folding sheet music, see, over top of whatever size insert that you have. Yeah, we were just talking about you, Missy. <laughs> I was telling while well, they were talking about painting faces, and I said, "Oh, I just started." And I got to talking to Kiki and she showed me for a few minutes and I've been practicing but I get so busy that I okay so I'm gonna glue this now if I cut it I decided I get so busy that I just get behind <laughs> but I got my painting sitting here I have too many things to do. The ordering for the store is what kills me. It's just... And the stocking and the listing and all the stuff. <laughs> and now I'm having a nail party this week. I invited you to, Vanessa. Oh, yeah, I told you. I have my nail party, so I've been distracted with that. There, that's cute. Okay, and we'll put some ink on this one. We'll do, we did sponge sugar last time. So this time we'll do, I know, I'm excited. Vanessa's going to come and do a event for us in group. She's going to show us some more ways we can try to be artistic like her. <laughs> I'm excited for that one. Now, this is an oxide. I never do them right the way you're supposed to, but I just like the color, so I'm going with it. Picked raspberry. This one's so pretty. And it looks really good with wax on it, too. And I love the wax. Yep, we got lots of Valentine events going on in group right now. It's kind of fun if you're into it. I always like to have some way to... Do things together you know community wise so it's kind of fun if you're into it if you're not well that's okay too just do your thing whatever it is but i always like to have options <laughs> options oh i love this it's so pretty and then we'll put the sparkle on top i like the sparkle I think we're using Lilac Rose Opal Polish today. I'm sold out right now in my shop, but there's various places to go get it. Like I said earlier, this is not the traditional way that I use this, but I'm using the stuff inside the cap because I just want a little schmutz. I don't want to eat a whole bunch. And then you start seeing the shimmer come out, see? If you can see it. Oh, I'm not in a very good frame, but you'll be able to see. You'll be able to see it when I'm done. A subtle glow. I want to bathe in this. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> I think it would make excellent... Lips and cheeks. 
Oh yeah, I love it. It's just a little bit of a shimmer. If you don't like the glitter, you can see it just kind of shimmers. Oh, the light's just not picking it up for you girls. I'm sorry. It's just not picking it up. My light's too shaded. It's too dark and dreary here today. It's raining and everything in Seattle today. I can see a little bit of the shimmer with that angle. A little bit. And then we're using Tsunami Rose die cut flowers. And I got these brushes in my shop too if you need these. I'm using ground espresso. And we're going to put some vintage piano roll paper if you need some in my shop. <laughs> I'm going to say that almost after every sentence. <laughs> Don't get sick of it. You can't help it. <laughs> we got matching pearl bracelets. These are um, Honora's. These ones are Honora's, so they're actually real. And this one my girlfriend gave me. I don't know what it is, but it looks old. So she thought I would like it. <laughs> I love Honora's. My mom got me a whole set of Honora bracelets with all the colors, you know. So it's just a big fat set like this. And then I went back and got all the whites. Because you got to have the white pearl series. <laughs> You gotta have the white pearls. Serious. So that's kind of fun. And I have Glamsterdam on. And Juno the drill is the purple. And Glamsterdam is the glitter. If you're liking my glitter nails today. <laughs> I put the link to the strip club in the description there. We are having so much fun over there. I can't stand it. Okay. So cheesecloth that I coffee stained. And this. Little gla little globble. Do ya. Just a little bit. Just to hold it down for the wax to. For the wax to dry. So we'll hold that down for a second. Cute. Make sure you don't glue it to the table. <laughs> and then we'll put some wax on this. But I think I better do my script stamp first or it's going to come right off. I have black soot Tim Holtz ink on this. We need that to my shop too. I got the refills now of Tim Holtz. I'm excited. I, I finally got my account with Mr. Holtz. So now I can carry all his stuff. It's kind of fun. I just made a big order so it'll be here any day. So I'll be posting in group. All my new stuff. You got your nail sheets? Did you? Nice. You got to go post it in group. Girl. Go post it. You got it. See if you like it. You, did you put them on yet? Look at mine. It's so fun. You got to put them on and then post in group what they look like. I am so impressed with these. I can't even tell you. And I am a gel girl. I'm telling you. I am so picky. And I have done wedding nails. And I have done nail art. I have done nails. Let me tell you. And the first time I tried these, I freaked out. I'm like, oh my God, this is going to be the new trend. Especially right now when the salons are closed. And I'm like, I am getting on the gravy train. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. These things are so amazing. I can't believe it. I'm so glad you got yours. Miss Sherry. Did I make you into a drag queen when you ordered? <laughs> you don't know how. Oh, I did a video. Did you miss the video? 
We did Pandemic Pamper Night, me and Katie. And I showed you how to do them and the face mask we did. I make my own face mask, you know. Did you see the video? You gotta go see the video. It's in the group. And every time you buy them for me, I'm, I turn you into a drag queen. Because <laughs> it's called the strip club, you know. Drag queen or stripper, that's what I turn you into when you make an order. <laughs> and then I go post it. I'm having so much fun. Oh, you didn't want to mess it up? I know, right? Well, you better try at least once because... I'm telling you what, you're going to be back for more. You're going to have to learn how to do them. I'm telling you, they're so amazing. I got the um, buy three, get one free. I got all pink. Every single one, because this Glamsterdam is my favorite. This one, I love it so much. I can't stand how pretty it is. I'm just saying, it looks so good. And I put these nail strips on, and it helps my nails grow. Like It's like a vinyl or something. It's not, but I'm just saying... That's what it feels like. It's like, holy buckets. But anyways, it's fun. So, I am just putting on the wax. That is so cute. Look. So, we got the script stamp and the roses and the sheet music and the schmutz. Ooh, this is cute. And then you can put your stamp on, whatever you're going to use. And then you're... Stamp, stamp. I just did a whole set of stamps, you know. I gotta find where did I put that. I got some new stuff that I want to use. I'm so excited about it. Oh, I need to find it. Here it is. I got it. <laughs> I got new stamps for envelopes. I'm excited. I love doing envelopes. So I got all these new cancel stamps, you know. Postage, you know what I mean? I'm all excited about that. Where's my other one? I don't see it, but oh well. That's okay. I'll just be satisfied with what I got here. It's plenty, but I always use a certain one. I don't have it right now. I just did this huge thing of distressed envelopes. I must have done, I don't even know how many, over 100 at least. And all these techniques take a long time, you know. So it took me quite a while. And they look pretty good, though. I, I don't know if I have any sitting here or not, but of course they're always listed in my shop, you know. But I did a whole set. I think it's a set of eight, so it's kind of a big set only had a couple purchases so far because it's kind of for eight envelopes is kind of a lot i don't know i think it was like 23 bucks or something that's not that much for as much work as i did shoot <laughs> right <laughs> as much work as i did shoot all right so here's a little cancel see how this is gonna be cute a little cancel stamp Ooh, i love that only i want my other one because it's got three clusters you know and then, ooh, here's one with the lines. Look, I got the lines now. I love the lines. <laughs> Yay, this is brand new. I love the lines. Oh, that's so cool. And then all these little things are all postage things. You know, like just random. You know what I mean? They're all like... Things that you find on an envelope. Which is so freaking cool. I love it. <gasps> Yay! That's so cute. I love this. <laughs> I love this. And then you can make a pretty, you know, insert of something. You could have sewn around it, too, if you want. I could sew around it still. Shoot, right? And this one we did with the little pockets. Because we folded our sheet music over. So we had a double-sided one. Right? And then we got this kind. With the crunchy in the middle. Where you just fold up like this. And fold it down like this. But you gotta sew this. Because parchment doesn't glue. So sheet music. Parchment. Sheet music. 
fold it up, sew it around and fold it up. So that's number three. And then we got this one. This is a double-sided one again. It's got the envelope on this side and the tuck spots on this side, right? So we just folded this around this. See? And then folded it over. I'll show you. We just did it a minute ago. So we just fold it in, see, put it down, and then that's it. We just wrap this piece around the back, and then this piece comes this way, so there's your pocket, right? And that's it, then you can shut it. So we'll ink this up. This time, we should use a different color. Let's just use this Victorian velvet because it looks like spilled wine. Oh, yes. This is my favorite. I love it on anything you put it on. It looks good because it looks like spilled wine. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it, especially on glassine. Oh, it looks so good. I have some distressed glassine in my shop. I think I have some left. If not, you have a regular. You can watch the videos on how I do it. But, oh, man, they look so good. They, you know, like this only with, only with the velvet. Let me see if I have one sitting here. Uh, I don't think so, but I have these, and these are cool, too. I love these. <laughs> but these are like the sets in the shop I have right now, I think. I think I might have one or two left. If I don't, ask me, because I know I have them sitting there, but I don't know how the count gets messed up on the shop. I just don't know. But the count always gets messed up. I think it's when people decide. Etsy doesn't put your like items that like sometimes people come in and they'll order something for two dollars or something. And I'm not even trying to be snotty. I just don't do that. I'm not gonna do that, you know. <laughs> so I have a ten dollar minimum and um so sometimes they just say, okay, bye. And then sometimes they'll come back and, you know, spend the $10. And even at 10, I'm still not making anything. It just doesn't cost me anything to send it, you know. But um, anyway, I think sometimes when they leave and don't purchase, Etsy doesn't put it back in my stock. So it looks like I don't have as many as I do. You know what I'm saying? So it's weird because my count's always off. And that's the only thing that I know that it does. Why it would be off like that. Is that they don't restock if somebody backs out. So I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, people get so mad at me for having a $10 minimum. It's so funny. <laughs> They get so mad. And I say, girl, you know these girls will have me running all day long doing little favors for them. I can't spend my whole day doing little dollar favors for people. It costs me money to send that, that stuff out with all the bags and the extras and the plastic and the all the fussing and all the stuff. And I'm like, oi, I, I can't do that all day long. <laughs> so... And they get all huffy and leave. It's like, okay, you try it once, and then you tell me. <laughs> okay, this one's cute. I think I might want to leave that for a tuck spot if I have a little something to tuck under there, you know? We'll see. 
And I did bring out, what did I bring out? This. And I wanted to put key to my heart, but I don't have, it's not long enough. But I did bring a key stamp. And this, because I could have put February 14th on that, that would have been easier. And then this one, I do want to wax this up. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, this one's cute and little. The little peppermint one. Let's do that. These are Daisy Collins die cuts, tsunamirose.net. So cute. I love them. And we'll get a little snippet of piano paper, and we'll get a little snippet of cheesecloth, and we'll just do it up. Cute. glue is over here oozing everywhere. Dang it. It's oozing. I'm just going to stick that down. I got to go check my fire. My feet are getting cold. Some days I have a hard time starting a fire. Sometimes the draft just isn't right. This is cute, except I want this up here instead. Nice. All right. Stick that down. And then we'll do the script stamp, because otherwise can't do that through the wax. Nice. Nice. Okay, so let's just put the pellets on here. And then we'll... trick is not to wax it to your table. <laughs> ah, or wax two pages together when you're doing a book. I have done that. <laughs> oh, I was so disappointed. I did it when I was new. I waxed a couple pages together. Oh my god, I was so bummed. <laughs> It was funny though. And we'll put a little more right here just to give it a extra little oop. There. Now it just looks like, you know, something was spilled on it or it got messed up somehow, you know. It's all supposed to look like little accidents, you know. None of this is supposed to look intentional. At least that's the way I do it. Okay, so that is super cute. And this will stick down better once the wax dries. Not quite dry, but that is cute. And then I'll put little stuff right here. See? Like this, it'll be cute. And then I think I'm gonna tie mine with my little alpaca that I have in the shop. It's so pretty, I'll show you. It's, you know, the white wispy kind. I'll show you. White wispy kind. I have white or white or wheat. 
night or a week. I don't know if it's a week, but it's something. And it looks so pretty when you use it to shut your, look how fuzzy and nice it is. Ooh, I love it. Look at it. <laughs> so we'll take some of this off. I think you get 10 yards because look how thin it is. I think it's 10 yards for, I don't know what it is. I can't remember. But it looks really pretty when you, when you use it like this and like this. And you can put, I'm going to put cute little ephemeras like right here. I'll tuck something right there. And then this is where I'll put my stamp and stuff. And then you can tie around it. Even a couple times it looks so cute. You know, with the little bows and stuff. If you like this kind of thing. Which I do. Nice. Look at it. Oh, for cute. I love it. So pretty. See? And then we'll put the little stamp there. Be all cute. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, you guys, and visiting me. We did three or four envelopes today. Showing y'all what to do here with these sheet musics. It's kind of fun. Well, I'm not showing you all how to do it. I'm just showing you what I'm doing with mine. I got to make some Valentines. We got Valentine stuff going on in groups. So I wanted to make some cute stuff. Oh, cute. So we'll see y'all later, okay? I'll go uh, when I get done with these and get them all finished. I'll put pictures in group and then you can see what they look like when I'm all done. Okay? Bye. <laughs> Bye, Julia.